Well, good evening. Thank you so much for being here. As mayor, it is my honor and privilege to present to you the 2019 State of the Town Address on behalf of the Commission and staff of the Town of Wendell. Joining me in the elected representation for the Town of Wendell are five commissioners, Mayor Pro Tem John Boyette, Commissioner Joe DeLoach, Commissioner Phil Tarnaski, Commissioner Jason Joyner, and Commissioner John Lutz. Together we represent the citizens as the elected leadership of Wendell during this period of growth and opportunity and I thank each of my colleagues for their service. Joining the elected officials and our council manager form of government is our town manager Mark Collins who has been manager of Wendell since 2018. In addition to the manager, the commission works with two other appointed officials, Jim Colley, our town attorney, and he's here with us tonight, and Megan Howard, our town clerk. They all, all bring their exceptional talent to the benefit of our community. As the product of the town is municipal services, the greatest asset is our employees at every level and, rep at every level and representing every department. It is through their daily efforts in partnership with the citizens that our community grows and quality of life is improved. Our, most of our department heads, I believe I've seen them here with us tonight, and I thank them for their efforts and the efforts of their departments on behalf of the citizens, and I hope you'll pass that along to the others that work in your departments. The State of the Town Address provides the dual opportunity to reflect back on the successes and challenges of the past year and to look ahead at the opportunities of tomorrow. So let's start first by looking back at several of the principal achievements of 2019. The town certainly lived up to its motto, small town, big charm, through its numerous special events and recreation opportunities, community policing, municipal services, and outstanding att attention to our customers. With town staff hosting or supporting multiple events in 2019, perhaps the motto should be small town, big fun. <clears throat> Special events require an all hands on deck effort for the, a small organization as well as community support. Signature events like Spring into the Arts, July 4th, the Harvest Festival, Halloween Treat Trail, and Wendell Wonderland all provided res residents and visitors alike with entertainment and seasonal fun. When, I, when the time draws near every year when each of these events, these in particular, roll around, I get real excited and I often tell the manager and different people, this is my favorite one coming up. You're going to love it. You really need to go. This is my favorite. And it has occurred to me that I say that every single time and every single one can't be my favorite. Um, but I think what I have realized is that each of them provides such a wonderful opportunity to showcase Wendell. Um, for visitors and an amenity for our citizens that live here that I'm just particularly proud of each of those things and I'm proud of our town and I hope the residents are proud of um, because they should be. In addition to larger events, the town through the Parks and Recreation Department and their partners host many other opportunities to contribute to a family-friendly environment. Events like Princesses in the Park, the Pro Town BMX Show, our Easter Egg Hunt, Big Truck Day, and Family Movie Nights that are coming, uh, carried out in partnership with Wendell Falls provide activities for residents of all ages. The growth of Wendell has also encouraged the creation of new and expanded events host by, hosted by other organizations that reflect new areas and diverse faces in the community. What's happening is we're having so much fun, everybody just wants to be involved. Events like Meet on Main, Public Safety Day, the International Food and Music Festival, Farmhouse Jams, and the Halloween Trick or Trot uh, at Wendell Falls all provide opportunities for residents of all backgrounds to experience new traditions. <clears throat> I highlight these community events as they demonstrate a continued effort by the town in 2019 to provide opportunities uh, for those of all ages and interests to pr uh, participate they maintain exceptional quality of life for our citizens, and they draw in visitors, and the number of visitors and residents is growing. The growth of Wendell has continued through the past year with a population estimate of 7,132 residents as of July 2018. That's 2018, so it's more than that. These numbers lag a year, but this estimate provided in 2019 represents a 4.2% growth in population between 2017 and 2018. 
This growth is mirrored by increased development uh, activity all over our community. We've seen continued growth in the Wendell Falls development that leads, that leads permitting activity and house starts in Wendell, as well as being a leader of residential construction activity in the Triangle region uh, in the state. The growth rate <clears throat> increased further in 2019 with 344 new single-family home permits issued by the town. $60 million of residential improvement value was recorded for new homes and renovations. That's a very important number. In addition, commercial construction values increased from $11 million to $18.6 million, an increase of 70% from 2018. That as well is a very important number. 2019 was a time for celebration for Wendell with the groundbreaking at SPC Mechanical Headquarters and a new charter, uh, Cardinal Charter Academy, as well as the announcement of public grocery store, a new Wake Tech campus, and a new Wake Med facility. The Board of Commissioners set our expectations high in 2018 from providing oversight for the town organization and recognizing participation in the community to setting policy and goals to guide Wendell into the future. A highlight of community and commission accomplishments is evidenced in the progress and completion of many, many strategic initiatives as part of our strategic plan adopted in 2019. A grant approval for the police department's Camp Choices program establishing an action plan for CALEA accreditation <clears throat> and implementing an officer health and safety initiative all contributed to achieving the commission goal to provide for a safe and secure community that nurtures livable and well-maintained neighborhoods that are fam and that are family friendly. Likewise, Public Works completed paving on several roads and addressed sidewalk issues downtown. Progress was made in stormwater program to bring the town into compliance by 2022. <clears throat> the board adopted a parks master plan in the fall to guide future park and greenway plans a shade structure was added to the playground at the community center, and kickball, soccer, and wiffle ball were all added to the program offerings this year. The commission welcomed exceptional students from all five schools that serve the town to lead the Pledge of Allegiance and recognized teachers that are making lifelong impacts on our children at commission meetings this past year. We, we've done that for several years and we continued it this past year. Beyond the recognition at the commission meeting, the commission also participated in school events and spent quite a lot of time in the classroom this past year. Um, one of the highlights of my job is spending time in the students with, in the schools with students and our children. I learn something from them every time I'm there and I appreciate it and I always appreciate you sharing your children with me. It's always a fun time. The tradition of recognizing the annual Mayor's Award winner was continued at the Chamber of Commerce annual dinner meeting. This year's honor was conveyed to Errol Briggerman. He is a deacon of the Wendell Baptist Church, member and former chair of the missions team, chair of the building and grounds team, and founder of the community outreach program, Love Your Neighbor. Errol is a member of the Wendell Council of Churches and a frequent attendee of our town board meetings, and he often offers the invocation of our town board meetings. He also started the community food drive that provides food for three area food pantries. The town of Wendell is in the business of providing exceptional municipal services to its customers. In every service organization, the most important asset is not its facilities or programs <clears throat> or equipment, it's the people that make things happen. It, it is the town staff that occupy these facilities and use the equipment and provide the programming that make the town organization what it is today. In the current fiscal year, the town organization has 55 full-time employees working in six departments, administration, finance, parks and recreation, planning, police, and public works. The town's growing with new streets to patrol, more addresses to clear debris, more plans to review, more accounts to manage, more kids recreating, and more people to serve. So the town organization has grown and sought efficiencies in providing services. Department highlights are, include the following. I'll go through and tell you a little bit about what we've done. The administrative, administration and finance departments were recognized for continued success in being good stewards of the public purse and continued to grow in management. The finance department received notification just kind of recently, actually, 
from the Government Finance Officers Association that the Town of Wendell is receiving the Distinguished Budget Presentation Award for its fiscal year 2019-2020 budget document. This is the first submission of the town for this recognition and the very first time we've received it. And that's kind of um, news off the press. We haven't really even talked about that much in our town board meeting, so I'm very proud of that. The town received an unmodified opinion for its fiscal year 2018 audit, which reflects the continued efforts of the organization to demonstrate financial activity in compliance with generally accepted accounting procedures. Administration continues to grow and expand with hiring a new town clerk, assistant to the town manager, and is in the process of hiring a human resources administrator. Busy, 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 and a ton of fun is a good description for the Parks and Recreation Department in 2019. The department served approximately 24,201 people in adult and youth athletic program and special events in 2019, representing a 21% increase above last year. That's incredible. A Parks and Recreation Master Plan was adopted to guide the growth of the parks uh, to guide our recreation, our open space needs for the next 10 to 15 years, land acquisition in neighborhood parks, greenway connectivity, and a splash pad were among recommend recommendations received by the consultants from our community, the ones that participated. Wendell Parks and Rec began working with Wake County Summer Food Program in 2019 <clears throat> with further expansion planned in 2020 to provide regular opportunities for youth to find meals when, on the days that there's no school and throughout the summer. A youth athletic scholarship program was put into place to ensure that all children are able to participate in youth sports in Wendell. And a new, a new recreation program supervisor position was added to provide additional resources for track out camps and special programs. The planning department grew to four full-time staff members with the addition of an assistant planning director. Development activity and permitting, assisting with community appearance, preparing the town for tomorrow are all roles of this small dedicated department whose accomplishes, accomplishments in 2019 are tremendous. They submitted uh, grant applications for two Campo transportation pro uh, projects for pedestrian safety and signalization on Wendell Boulevard and a, with a project total of nearly $2 million. Staff also submitted a community revitalization grant to Wake County to coordinate neighborhood infrastructure, housing and volunteer efforts in a targeted area of West Downtown. This is something that I've personally been wanting to do for a very long time. and. Um, We'll have more announcements about that soon. Development downtown continues to expand with new business additions, including 3rd Street Social, R&S Painting LLC, 1 North Main Street undertook a substantial interior, interior and exterior renovation and received a $45,000 facade grant to incentivize that work. Special use applications were approved for an expansion to the dance studio, a permit uh, to permit a new indoor event space, to permit a bar and tap room at number one North Main, and to permit a microbrewery on East Campus Street. The board also authorized a $300,000 project to develop a public event and parking space off of East Campus Street, and there's more to come on that too, but that should be finished this summer. And that's very exciting. Uh, for development outside of our downtown, we, uh, the Wendell Falls Public Safety Center is nearing completion. The Publix Grocery Store announced a Wendell Falls location. Wake Med has purchased property on Wendell Bo uh, Valley Boulevard. SPC Mechanical broke ground on a new headquarters building at the intersection of Business 64 and Old Battle Bridge Road. Kinder Care at Wendell Falls opened for business and Cardinal, Cardinal Charter Academy broke ground on a location off Wendell Falls Parkway. The Police Department and it its service level is expanding with, the, uh, with our growing community as well. Full service law enforcement agencies provide police coverage all day, every day, 365 days of the year. The department is a balance of new, mid-career, and experienced staff with sworn members having just over 15.5 uh, years of service on average. Department achievements and items of note in 2019 include these. In 2019, calls for service volume increased from 6%, increased 6% from 
3,460 in 2018 to 3,670 in 2019. The calls included both citizen and officer-initiated efforts, and the nature of the service provided varied. Incident reports increased 15% from 365 in 2018 to 423 in 2019. Motor vehicle crashes increased by 28% with 183 in 2019 compared to 142 in 2018. Many of these increases can be attributed to growth. Um, there's more roads, more cars, more people, more things are going to happen. Wendell remains a safe community to work and live and raise your family. The small town big charm motto for the town applies to the increased use of community-oriented policing philosophy used by the department. This philosophy includes the use of both formal and informal events to foster stronger relationships between the police department and the community. Formal events conducted in 2019 included the Fatal Vision Impaired Driving Simulator Program presented at the Wake County uh, Auto Dealer Expo, the 11th Annual Public Safety Day held in May of 2019, the 10th Annual Camp Choices week-long youth camp held in August, three golf cart registration events at remote sites to uh, make it easier for citizens to get their golf carts registered for the year, the police department added a drug, drug drop box at the police department and held its first prescription drop-off event. And participation in events such as the Walt to School Day at Wendell Elementary and Covenant Presbyterian Church Festival are all opportunities that the police department, the police department uses to interact with our youth in Wendell. In 2017, the police department applied for and was awarded a $24,100 grant through the Governor's Crime Commission to replace aging gear. The grant funds were released uh, by the federal government in January of 2019 and used to purchase new handguns, ammunition, and duty gear. Uh, the equipment was issued to the officers and they all successfully qualified with their new handguns and new equipment in 2019. In December of 2019, the police department was awarded a grant in the amount of $24,990 from the Wake County Al Alcoholic Beverage Control Board to provide for continu continued funding for camp choices along with enhancements to successful uh, impaired driving pro to its very successful impaired driving program. All of these things are going to expose our younger community to the dangers of impaired driving. The past year for public, the Public Works Department uh, has, this past year the Public Works Department has continued to grow professionally, take on new challenges, and be flexible in the face of adversity. Our Public Works Department works very hard, and their highlights include the following. The Public Works continue to grow in many other ways than number of, alone. Uh, they obtained American Public Works Association certifications, OSHA safety training, first line supervision classes for new crew leaders, and advanced code and compliance classes. All these are examples of the continued efforts to enhance department staff training. Um, that's very important that they're cont having continual training like that. Public Works partnered with the North Carolina Department of Transportation and the City of Raleigh to complete multiple paving projects including Third Street, Tobacco Alleyway, Parish Court, and parts of West Second Street and First Street. The East Wake Senior Center does a great job, and it's the responsibility of the town and, and some neighboring towns. Um, and so our Public Works team was excited to have the ability to make some um, much needed changes and improvements for the city, the center, to allow them to have brighter, safer, and more welcoming environments. Improvements included heating and air conditioner replacements and repairs. Hot water was added to the nurses' station, uh, craft room, and new sinks and faucets for the restrooms, and there was removal <coughs> of the exterior bushes. Water leaks were repaired, ceiling tile replacement. This is just to name a few. So we've really given that building a bit of an overhaul this past year, and it was much needed. Public Works continued to hone their holiday light displays throughout the town square and downtown. They love putting up Christmas lights, <laughs> and they're always beautiful. Many more lights were added, as well as arranging lights to assist with keeping crowds flowing through multiple events 
around the square during Window Wonderland and on Main Street. It's important that we have those areas well lit and Public Works is in, uh, takes care of that for us. All of this is done in addition to the collection of tons of yard debris, sweeping our streets and keeping Wendell neat and tidy and beautiful in general. The manager and I often discuss these kinds of things and things that the town employees do for all of us here. And um, without a doubt, we both give credit to the very hardworking town staff that we have. They, these employees are working through <clears throat> increased training, improved equipment, and innovative practices and they take a lot of pride in their work and they really have become the we in Wendell, without a doubt. Their efforts are exciting and they lead us to look forward to 2020 and how Wendell seeks to build on the accomplishments of last year. So let's look ahead now. From all indications, Wendell is on track for an exceptional 2020. Staff continues to work implementing the Town of Wendell strategic plan that establishes five key policy goal areas with 54 policy initiatives to guide the organization e organizational efforts through the coming year and beyond. Several exciting efforts underway are planned to begin or are, are already underway or they are planned to begin in 2020. We will be implementing a neighborhood improvement program that coordinates community resources, infrastructure improvements, and housing programs to improve quality of life in neighborhoods surrounding our downtown. Infill development is in, uh, definitely in planning by the development community, and so the town is ready with an update to our comprehensive land use plan. That's going to start this spring and will be completed in early 2021, and that will help us guide that infill growth and development. The Downtown Parking and Event Space Project on East Campen Street will coordinate public improvements with private business investments in neighboring buildings. And this project is going to add additional parking, landscaping, lighting, art, pedestrian access, and it's going to be completed this summer. The Police Department will be starting a one of three year, starting year one of a three year process of updating their policies and procedures to become a CALEA accredited law enforcement agency. This accreditation demonstrates a commitment to professionalism and it verifies our officers are using best practices for law enforcement. Our engineering firm is completing road condition survey to initiate a road resurfacing and maintenance program to begin regularly investing and improving the condition of our streets and sidewalks. The evaluation of the 26 plus miles of town roads will be completed this spring and plans to begin the improvements will start in 20. 20 and 2021. The Main Street Greenway will be designed and construction started to connect the downtown to our Wendell Park. The Greenway will uh, be the first phase of connecting the downtown to its neighborhoods and eventually extend to Wendell Falls and beyond to Buffalo Creek. That's very exciting. Land acquisition for new parks is underway to implement the Parks and Recreation Master Plan that I mentioned earlier. This was a goal set a goal set in the plan is for parks to be located and accessible to all areas of town <clears throat> um, and meeting the property needs that are going to be required to make that happen has to go ahead and start now. Construction of the first neighborhood park is expected in 2021. A lot of citizens requested a splash pad during the recreation master plan process. Of course, it was hot last summer <laughs> when they were out there, but splash pads are great. So. Uh, the town heard you, and we're going to start designing construction on Splash Pad in 2020. Expansion of special events and opportunities for families and friends to have fun and experience the best of Wendell will abound in 2020 with the Meet on Main pr event providing music, food, drink, and fun on selected Friday evenings, and the expanded Wendell Farmers Market on Campen Street, which is adding special themed markets each month, uh, beginning in May. Design will start on a new downtown town hall at the entrance to the Wendell Park. The site offers land owned already by the town with room to grow. Our current town hall where we're sitting tonight <clears throat> has served the town well for many years, but we're bursting at the seams. Uh, the board believes it's time to look towards uh, meeting our space needs and our ADA mandated accessibility requirements, which we can't are meeting right now. Um, and provide safe, healthy, and modern environment for citizens and employees of the town to conduct their business. 
<clears throat> design will be completed for the Wendell Boulevard pedestrian improvement project that will safely connect Wendell Elementary to the Food Line Plaza by filling in sidewalk gaps where sidewalk is missing, improving unsafe intersections, adding a traffic light at the intersection of Wendell Boulevard and Wendell Falls Parkway. That's very exciting. This is just a brief summary of, uh, there were so many things that could have been included. This is a brief summary of the portion of the exciting opportunities we have planned in 2020. The commission and staff are committed to implement the strategic plan and its initiatives to better the Wendell community. Uh, I want to close by reading you the vision statement for the town of Wendell. The town of Wendell is a clean, safe, vibrant, full, and full service with a diverse population. Our citizen-friendly reputation is assured by the quality of our facilities and professional staff who work efficiently to provide great customer service. We have a knowledgeable town board who works efficiently to incorporate input from citizen advisory boards and staff to be responsible stewards of our tax dollars through leveraging by watching return on investments and maintaining our fund balance. The efforts of the Wendell community, the commission, and professional staff have advanced our towns closer to achieving its vision. With the excitement of the opportunities ahead in 2020, working together we will be that vibrant community of our aspirations and continue to provide the exceptional municipal services that improve the quality of life of our residents businesses and visitors. I want to thank you all for the opportunity to provide you the state of the town the state of the town address this evening. Special thanks to the Wendell Rotary Club for facilitating this. This is I believe our fifth and um, it's something that we've always done together and I've enjoyed working with all of y'all make to share the accomplishments and plans for the town. It's absolutely my honor and privilege to serve the citizens of the town of Wendell. I anticipate a wonderful 2020, and I look forward to being here next year to reflect on it with you. Thank you.